Hey guys, so you might have remembered me from this video. This is a message to anyone who is being bullied right now. It doesn't matter if it's online or in real life, this is for you. You matter. Your opinions matter. Your feelings matter. Your thoughts matter. Your dreams matter. Your life matters. You are special. You are beautiful. You are talented. You are valuable. You are wonderful. You are respected. You are cared about. You are strong. You are a good person. You are loved. You can succeed. You can reach out. You can hold on. You can overcome. You mean something. You have worth. You deserve to live. I love you. And many more like it. And also you might have noticed me from videos railing on Autism Speaks and you might notice that I haven't been doing that lately. I haven't done it in a couple of years. Well, there is a reason. You know, I've been battling my own, my own mental health and it's been quite a, quite a struggle. And I'm doing this on AFBV Day because I want to talk about the self-bullying that people do when they've been through abuse, emotional abuse, verbal abuse, you know, any kind of abuse. But the way we talk to ourselves when we're going through that is really, really cruel. You know, my friend Donnie Winter, I think he was the one that talked about the term self-bullying. Yeah. Don't be your own bully. You know, whether it's coming out of emotional abuse or whether it's from school bullying, don't be your own bully. You know, I've been struggling with pretty severe anxiety and some pretty serious depression and suicidal ideation and I'm in therapy to work on this because it was getting dangerous, it was getting life-threatening, and it was not not good. And part of why I stepped back from a lot of activism is just because I didn't feel like I was being authentic anymore and I just, I would watch my videos and these are videos I haven't posted, you know, I would watch it back and I'd be like no, I look too fake. I don't look like I'm really as happy as I'm trying to sound. I'm not good at acting good, like I feel good when I don't feel good. I just... So when it comes to self-bullying, our abusers and our bullies have ways of just kind of sitting around in our hippocampus and they just sneak up on us at really bad times. And if you have trauma like I do, a lot of really old crap can suddenly find itself bubbling up to the surface from places you thought you've banished it to. And you got to be careful of that. I mean, especially if you're struggling like I am, because it gets painful and it gets hard. And there are people that spew this toxic positivity that just, it... <laughs> You know, like, oh, it can't be that bad. Just smile. It's a bad day, not a bad life. And it's like, okay, yeah, it is a bad day and not a bad life, but I'm having a bad day. And I'm a, you're allowed to have a bad day. You're allowed to have a bad day. As long as you're not hurting other people with it. You know, take care of yourself on those bad days. Take care of yourself. Be even more loving to yourself on those days when you're struggling and when your past is telling you what a bad person you are and, and how much people hate you. That's not true. Challenge those thoughts. What, what makes you think that everybody hates you? You know, because it can feel like it. 
when you're depressed, when you're traumatized, when you're anxious, take that deep breath. Just take that breath and hold it for a minute and let it out. And tell yourself that I love me. Say to you, look in the mirror and say, I love you. And I know you hurt. And I know you're sad. And I know you're struggling. But I'm here for you. Because you've got to be there for yourself. You know, don't, don't talk to yourself the way the people that hurt you did. If you wouldn't say it to your best friend, don't say it to yourself. And I know that's easier said than done because it can become a habit to just be really terrible to yourself. But learn to recognize those thoughts and be like, what? No, 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 that's not, that's not right. That's not true. That's fake news. That's a lie. Just, you know, I'm not a terrible person. I just, I tripped over a rug. My God. You know, just... I tripped over a rug. Okay, I looked a bit silly, but nothing got hurt. Nothing's broken. We're all good. We're fine. I'm okay. I'm going to survive this moment. This moment. And then focus on this moment. Don't think of what's going to happen in two hours. Think about this moment. How are you right now? Right now. In the comments, I want you to tell me how you are right now. Right this second. Okay? How are you feeling? What's going on? But when it's hard because when you're having a good day it's so easy to be like oh I got this I'm the king queen royalty of the world I can do anything and then when you crash and burn because something goes wrong or you just the intrusive thoughts come in and you start to doubt those are the moments when you have to be like okay this is hard but we're here we're alive we're breathing and we're gonna take a deep breath and we're going to deal with this. And then you do whatever mantras or whatever self-care works for you. If you journal your thoughts and then you and then you put it away. If you write the names you want to call yourself and tear them up and throw them in the trash, whatever whatever works for you. Whatever works. If you want to play a Call of Duty shoot 'em up video game and shoot pixels and fake people go ahead if you want to play Mortal Kombat and tear up your your sprites on the screen go ahead you know do whatever to take care of yourself just don't hurt other people don't do that and don't hurt yourself either don't harm yourself don't do that be kind to yourself be loving to yourself because you deserve it and you're the one that's always going to be there for you because you can't guarantee that everybody around you is going to stay around. I mean, people people walk away, people leave. It just it happens. It's not your fault necessarily, but it happens. People drift away. That's how it is. But don't bully yourself. Okay, cuz the AFBV message, it's for you too. For you to say to yourself. Say it to yourself if you need it. Don't bully yourself. Don't hurt yourself. You know, the saying on an airplane is put your own oxygen on before you put it on someone else. The same thing goes for self-care. You might have people in your life that are having their own struggles and you might think that you can ignore yours to deal with theirs. But no. You have to take care of yourself too. You have to. Because if you break down, what then? So, you, you know, it sucks to always feel like you have to be the strong one and you have to be the bigger person when someone else is just being completely crappy to you. I get it. Believe me. But if you can walk away, just walk away. From the person that's hurting you, just walk out of the room take a deep breath, bury your head in your headphones, put on a song you love and just let them yell because they don't deserve a space within you but you deserve a space within you so love yourself, okay? alright? don't bully yourself be kind to yourself love you